Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm going to be taking you through analytical geometry, paying particular attention to the circle. So in this session, we want to look at how two circles interact uh, when they are put together in different scenarios. So the first uh, scenario is we are going to talk about what happens if two circles are touching externally. So if two circles are touching externally, we've got two circles, one with center C1, the other one with center C2. And uh, so what happens is uh, they need to satisfy this condition uh, that uh, the distance between center 1 and center 2 is equal to the sum of radius 1 plus radius 2. All right. So the next situation is when we have got two circles that are touching internally. So we've got a, a, a bigger circle and a smaller circle. Uh, the bigger circle is having center one, the smaller circle is having center two. Uh, so the relationship that exists there is that uh, the distance from center one to center two must be equal to the difference between radius one that is the radius of the bigger circle minus the radius of the smaller circle so when the these two are equal it means these two circles are touching internally right so the next scenario is if we have got two circles that are cutting each other at two distinct points so if you see at these two circles they are touching each other at these two distinct points all right and the bigger circle is having center one which is c1 and the smaller one is having c2 so the relationship that exists there if two circles are touching at two distinct points uh, is this relationship so the radius of one the bigger radius minus the smaller radius must be less than uh, the distance between center one and center two and must also be less than uh, the sum of radius one plus radius two so the, the the distance between two centers must be lying between these two extremes the difference of the two uh, radii and the sum of the two radii I'm going to look at an, a specific example where this concept is applying uh, very soon. Now, the third uh, scenario is when we have got two circles that are not cutting or touching each other. So here we have got two options: either the smaller one, the smaller circle, is inside the larger circle, as shown uh, in this diagram, and. Um, the center of the bigger circle is c1 and the center of the smaller circle is c2 and also the radius of the smaller circle is in yellow is r2 and the radius of the bigger circle is r1 so in this situation we see that this distance between the two centers must be less than the difference of the two radii so the radius of the bigger circle minus the radius of the smaller circle must be greater than the distance from center uh, one and center two all right then the next situation is the two circles might be separated all right so these two circles are not are, are not cutting and are also not uh, touching each other in this particular situation we see that uh, this the distance between the two centers must be greater than the sum of the two radii all right now getting to uh, other situations there is a situation where you are now supposed to find the equation of a common code uh, of two circles that are cutting each other at two distinct points so these two circles they are cutting each other at these two distinct points and if you join the two uh, points 
we will see that there is a code that these two circles are are sharing so in that situation you need to solve the equations of the two circles simultaneously so if you do that uh, your answer is going to be another equation it will be a linear equation uh, of the of the line that is in red so solving the solution to this simultaneous equation is going to be an equation of the form y is equal to mx plus c because it's a straight line i'm going to demonstrate more about this concept shortly all right now there is also a scenario where two circles are touching each other and are sharing or are having a common tangent so a question might come and ask you how uh, how do you find the equation of the line or the equation of the common tangent so in this case you need to take advantage of the idea that the two centers there if you join these two centers they will give you a line that is perpendicular to your tangent so these two points they can help you to find the gradient of the of the line joining the two centers so the relationship that exists between the gradient of the the line joining the two centers and the tangent is that the product of these two of these two gradients must give you negative one so after getting the gradient of the of what of your tangent then you can use the coordinates of this point of contact of the two circles and the tangent so that will enable you to get uh, the equation of a tangent and it's gonna be in the form y is equal to m x plus c all right so we have looked at different uh, situations of circles interacting with each other. Now we want to look at one example where we are applying all these concepts. So in the example we are having the circle defined by x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equal to 25 is a center m so this is one circle with center m and the circle defined by x minus 1 squared plus y minus 30 squared being equal to 9 and this circle is a center n so the first question is saying show that the circles intersect each other at two distinct points all right so usually when we are dealing with functions and we are talking about a point of intersection we usually equate the two functions or we solve the functions simultaneously but in this case our equations the uh, equations of circles they are a bit complicated if you want to solve these two equations simultaneously uh, you see that there is a lot of work to be done there so we we'll come back we'll just go back and see what is the condition of for two circles to touch at two distinct points and we remember there is a condition i'm go going back to the condition right here you are this is the condition that we need to satisfy if we can satisfy this condition in our question then we can conclude that these two points these two circles are cutting each other at two distinct points so if you move to the question now we will see now that the circle with center m uh, if you calculate the radius of that circle you see that the radius is is actually five units and if you look at the circle with center n the radius is three units all right so if you say radius one plus radius two you see that you get an answer of eight and if you say radius one minus radius two you get the answer here is actually five 
minus 3, and this gives you 2. All right. So now if you calculate the distance between the two centers, the distance mn, you discover that it gives you square root of 13, which translates to 3,6 units. Right. So now we want to compare the distance mn to our uh, our two extremes, which is the difference of the two radii and the sum of the two radii. So this difference of the two radii, we remember that is actually two units. And this sum of the two radii is giving us eight units. And mn is... 3,6, which is indeed between these two, these two uh, extremes. So you can see that it is satisfying the condition that we stated earlier on. Therefore, the two circles, the two circles are indeed cutting uh, each other at two distinct distinct points all right so we have answered this question make sure you show the, your calculations how you found you find your two radii you your sum your difference then you find your distance mn you compare that after comparing don't keep quiet don't just stop there you need to go ahead and conclude to show that the, this condition this condition here you must show that this condition is satisfied because that's the condition uh, that we we are seeking to satisfy now let's go to question b which is saying determine the equation of the common chord so if you remember from our, our discussion earlier, we said to find a common chord, you have to solve the two equations of the circles. You solve them simultaneously. Like I told you, solving these two equations simultaneously, we need to be tactful in this case. So we can use elimination method here. But uh, I've expanded I've expanded this equation here if I expand it it gives me equation number one then this equation here if I expand it it gives me equation number two so equation number one came from the first circle equation number two came from the second circle now I need to remove this let me quickly remove this uh, Yeah. Right. So now to solve these two equations simultaneously uh, by uh, elimination, you can subtract equation one. You say equation one minus equation two. This gives you x squared and x squared. They will give us a zero there. Then 4x minus minus two is 6x. And um, 4 minus 1 gives us positive 3. Then y squared minus y squared, it gives us 0. Then minus 2y minus minus 6y gives us positive 4y. Then we've got a 1 minus 9. This gives us negative 8, which is equal to 25 minus 9 that gives us 16 okay so if we want to express this in the form of of y is equal to mx plus c so what it means is we now uh, transpose the rest of the terms to the other side and to this side we are left with 4y being equal to negative 6x uh, plus so if you take 3 it gets to that side and becomes minus 
then we add 8 that gives us 21 all right so if we make y the subject to see that y is equal to negative 3 over 2 x plus 21 over 4 so this is equation of a straight line so that is the equation of the common code i hope uh, this gives you an idea of how to to determine the different interactions of two circles in a, in a in a question all right so we are hoping that uh, you are going to have time to do more and more practice of these things bye for now thank you